In this video, I'm going to show you seven serious shortcut hacks you didn't know existed that will really elevate your serious shortcut experience. I use a majority of these hacks multiple times a day to run my shortcuts faster than ever before and in ways that you've never heard of before. Starting off with hack number one is that you can quickly run a serious shortcut from the search bar. Let's say that you want to run a shortcut, but it's not on your home screen and you don't want to open up the shortcuts app to try to find it. Well, you can just swap down from anywhere on your home screen and type in a couple of letters of the shortcut and it'll pop up and you can tap on it to run your shortcut from here. This can also be done from the today view by swapping to the right, then swapping down and typing in your shortcut name and tapping it and running it from here. This also works on an iPad. So if you have a keyboard paired to your iPad, then press command and space and it'll bring up the search bar and you can type in your shortcut name and run it from here. Running your shortcuts from search is a super quick and easy way to run your shortcuts if you, if you just want to run something and get on with your day. Now, one of the most common ways that I run a vast majority of my shortcuts is on my home screen with widgets. These widgets come in different sizes so you can have a small medium or large widget on your home screen and when you're adding the shortcut tap on the widget and change which folder of shortcuts is showing and to take this to the next level you can put shortcuts on multiple pages and even stack widgets so you can have multiple series shortcuts right at your fingertips so if you wanted to check on the status of your home kit devices you can run a if then shortcut that will check to see if your door is locked or unlocked if it's locked it will ask you if you want to unlock your door and then send you a notification that the door is locked. And the opposite is true as well. If your door is unlocked, then it will ask you if you want to lock your door. And if so, then it will lock your door and tell you that that's done. And you can also use a shortcut to quickly control the playback of your Apple TV without having to use the remote. So if you lost it, this is a great alternative. Widgets can also be added to the today view for even quicker access by swapping to the right of your screen and adding a widget from here. Series shortcut hack number three is that you can actually run a shortcut with a scroll wheel on a mouse. If you use a wireless mouse with your iPad, then you can actually run your shortcuts from the scroll wheel on your mouse. Now this works best if your mouse has multiple physical buttons like a scroll wheel. So if if you have a magic mouse by Apple, then this will not work as well. To set this up, open settings, go to accessibility, touch, and then enable assistive touch. Then scroll down to pointer devices, tap on devices and choose your mouse. Now tap on customize additional buttons and press the button on your mouse that you want to use to trigger your shortcut. And make sure it's a button that you don't use very often because if you do, then this shortcut will run every time you press the button. Scroll all the way down to shortcuts and choose your shortcut. I'm going to choose a shortcut that just straight up opens up the home app. Go back and now whenever I press the scroll button, the home app will open and I can quickly control any of my devices. You can use this idea to control your devices or scenes so you can easily turn your lights on or off. Or in my case, whenever my office room gets too hot, I can press this button to easily turn my fan on and then press it again to turn the fan off. Now this is really cool. Get it? Cause fan keeps things cool. <laughs> Oh man. Something most people don't know about is that you can actually run Siri shortcuts straight from your Apple Watch. And with different watch faces, you can customize where the shortcuts are placed on your watch. One of my favorite watch faces is the infographic modular, which shows me a bunch of data at once. You can choose what apps and data appear in the corners here and in the middle, which are called complications. Now, before you can add this Siri shortcut to your watch, you first have to enable it in the shortcut. By opening up the shortcuts app, choose your shortcut and then enable show on Apple Watch watch. There's a section in the shortcuts app for all the shortcuts that are on your Apple watch and you can rearrange them, remove them from your watch or delete the shortcut entirely. Once you've added the shortcut to your watch, open the watch app and under the my faces section, tap on a watch face that you like. And here you can change the colors and scrolling down is where you can customize the complications. So let's say I want to put one on the bottom right of my watch. So I'll tap the bottom right and scroll almost all the way down to shortcuts. And you can choose either a specific shortcut to show or have it show all of your shortcuts on your watch. For an even faster way to change your complications, you can do all of this straight from the watch. Press and hold on the screen and tap edit and choose your complications and scroll to find the shortcut that you want to add. So now it's even easier to control your home kit scenes and devices straight from your wrist without having to open up the home app. Hack number five is called the vibrate device action. A pro tip for creating shortcuts is to add the vibrate action in your shortcuts. With this action in your shortcut, your device will vibrate whenever the shortcut runs so you know it worked. And I also put one at the end of certain shortcuts so I know that the whole entire shortcut ran successfully. For example, I have an NFC tag in my car that runs a shortcut that will either lock or unlock the door depending on the current status. I'll scan the tag and it'll vibrate so I know it ran, but sometimes the shortcut 
shortcut won't run correctly for some reason or another, so I'll use another vibrate device action that happens only after the shortcut runs. This way I know that the door actually locked or unlocked. Siri shortcut hack number six is that your Siri shortcuts can automatically run. Siri shortcuts can be ran by either voice, tapping, or using other triggers to run the shortcut automatically. One I use every day is that whenever my phone is charging, it runs a shortcut that gets the time of day, and if the time of day is between 9 p.m. and 11 p.m., it automatically runs another shortcut that turns off my bathroom light, which the bathroom light does not work with HomeKit. And if your car supports CarPlay, then you can use the CarPlay trigger to have it automatically run your HomeKit scenes to turn off all your lights and lock your door. Another shortcut I use every day is that whenever I turn off my alarm, my kitchen lights will be a dimmed warm white, so it does not hurt my eyes whenever I've just woken up. Now, I could create an automation to have my lights automatically turn on at a certain time of day, but for the occasional days that I sleep in, I don't want the lights to automatically turn on. So this shortcut uses my alarm as a trigger to only turn on the lights whenever I turn off my alarm. And Siri shortcut hack number seven is that you can use Siri to control your non-HomeKit devices. If you have a smart home device that does not work with HomeKit, then you can still use Siri to control it. Now this will vary based on if the device you're trying to use does support Siri shortcuts or not. If it does, you'll see an add to Siri button somewhere in the app and then you'll be able to control this device with Siri. Keep in mind you may have to create multiple Siri shortcuts to control the power or other states of the device. And your phone will have to be online in order for Siri to run the shortcut since Siri is looking at your phone for the shortcut so if your phone is offline she doesn't know what to do. And because of this unfortunately nobody else will be able to run that same shortcut unless you download the app and install the shortcut on their phone. Let me know some of your favorite Siri shortcut hacks down in the comments below and thanks for watching.